Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be taking a look at one of the ultimate goals for every Tarkov veteran, the Kappa Container, and how to acquire it for yourself. For many players, this container is considered the end game in Escape from Tarkov. It's a 3x4 container in size, which gives you 12 slots total for storing various items, which will persist even if you die, making it the largest secure container currently in the game. The first thing, and arguably the most difficult thing, that you'll need to do is complete all of the tasks or quests in Tarkov, spare for regulated materials, no offence, trust regain, loyalty buyout, Hippocratic Vow, Mentor, the stylish one, and Apple a day keeps the doctor away, and import. These are considered optional tasks and aren't essential to progressing through the game or acquiring the Kappa container. Once you've secured all of these, Fence will have another task for you, the first and only task he'll provide in the entire game. He'll ask you to acquire several items in-game which are relevant to some popular streamers and content creators. Let's go over where you can find some of these items. If you're looking to complete this task, I'd strongly suggest saving some of these items in advance to cut down the time you'll spend locating each piece. Now, a lot of the items you'll be asked to acquire can be found on the corpses of Scav Raiders and standard AI Scavs. The Fake Mustache, Cotton Beanie, Antique Axe, Can of Sprats, and Jar of Devil Dog Mayo are most commonly found on Scavs or Scav Raiders. It's worth noting that you can find the Devil Dog Mayo and the Can of Sprats in sports bags, as well as any place consumable items will spawn. You can find Deadly Slob's Beard Oil along the shelves in the furniture store just outside of Ollie, an interchange, as well as on this counter inside the offices at the back of Ollie. The Fire Clean Gun Lube also spawns in this second location. The Golden 1G phone can be found in most tech stores, so your best bet is interchange for these two. Texo, Techlite, Rasmussen, and the shelves in the Idea office are all good spawns for this item. The Silver Badge and the Golden Rooster are most commonly found in the rooms of Health Resort on Shoreline. You'll need quite a few keys to make the most of this area, so I'd recommend either leaving these items until a bit later on, when you've had chance to find as many keys as possible, or bringing a friend or two in the hopes you'll have more keys between you. The East Wing especially has quite a few rooms that spawn these items. You can find the antique book most commonly in safes. There's a fair few of these on shoreline at the cottages, the office building near the pier extract, the gas station, weather station, and of course the health resort. It's also worth checking out the dorms on customs for some safes as well. If you find yourself on woods, you can check the safe in the bunkhouses at the lumber mill and the marked circle, which is a spawn location for this item. Lastly, you can find the old fire steel and fire clean gun lube inside this particular robotics cage on lambs. This area is quite often hit quickly by hatchlings and pistol runners due to being in close proximity to a Ledex spawn, so you may have to move fast to get to these, and of course they aren't a guaranteed spawn. That covers all of the items you'll need for the quest to acquire the Kappa container, guys, so I hope this was useful for you, and if you want to see me play Tarkov or stop in and ask some questions, you can catch me on Twitch every day at 2.30pm UK time through until 8 p.m. in the week and 8 p.m. until midnight on weekends. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.